Come on, lady. Why are you doing this? You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers.
Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. Check your pockets. Up you get. Uh, let's get you up. I'm gonna fight you. You better, damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I'd love to see you try. Let's go for a ride. Oh! There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man. Do give it a rest. Like you got you <laughs> may get a wife of your own in prison. You ever felt pain, mister? Real pain? Screaming, crying, begging pain. I will put God. <laughs> You're the one tied to the back of a horse. Now hush. You think they want me 
alive, they won't know what to do. is how they're getting you. With a few bruises. Blackwater Police. <laughs> Made it, girl. Me and my brother drank so much the other night, we woke up miles from home. <laughs> no idea how we got there. All right, let's go. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you! Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breed. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean honest work for honest pay. You come back soon, you'll find another poster on that wall. This Cleveland community needs your kind. You want to hear about the murders? All the folks I killed? How they scream king? You're dead, Green. But there's ways I can make My this worse on you. On Nobody's seen him. For over a week. Well, ain't that the damnest thing? They'll come for me. The Skinners ain't afraid of your jailhouse and your badge. Elias Green, you will lose your tongue before you lose your head. Mark me. Without ever doing nothing about it. That's just how life goes, my friend. How do you do? I'm as happy as a bee in beer. You deserve it. You can't kill me, Chief! I can't be killed, and I won't be! What kind of world Hello, do sir. we live in, dear Lord? Earlier. Yes, I heard about that. It ain't my fault, Chief. I needed it. Once you start killing, you just can't stop. Try it, Chief. You want a bucket of water while you sleep? You keep this up, Green. How are you? Same old troubles. It can only get better. You know how I hear so good, Chief? Mister? It's my ears. Got a whole chain of them around my neck. <laughs> Ain't much I got to achieve in life except in seeing you hang, Green. Enough. Mr. 
sister. Hey, watch your step. Hello, sir. Word is one of the sheriff's men is running with a gang. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. I should help thee. Help a blind man. Here you go. You have learned the most important lesson of all. That only one thing matters. And all else is lies. Thank you, I guess. Easy there. 
there, girl. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, Marston. Come on. Oh. 
follow me. Syllables don't make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. It's me again. <laughs> Working hard? <coughs> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait. What did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and... Oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Here we are. 
Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. You take the slum. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Good day. Will you move? Partner, seen a big Indian guy? Indian? Hm, sure, I've seen hundreds. Big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. to enjoy some peace and quiet. Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. Turns out. <laughs> So are you. Oh, So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. OK. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a gentlemen, fan of the wolf. Round, Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an engine Hercules. 
the savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Just yet. Hit him. Knock him out. Pretend he's Micah. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Hit him, Charles. <laughs> Knock him out. Hit him, little wolf. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Pretend he's Micah. Knock <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. I gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. It was where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him, or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah? I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Well then, everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs>
Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey, yeah. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge, going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Ni ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
Feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Here's a real man's game. Yeah. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Welcome. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. 
Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Blackwater, the new boom town. Read it here. All right, girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. I do you. What's your problem? That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along, too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think, he's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, 
I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. This outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Be a good girl now. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Ha! Good girl. They'll be coming through here. and keep an eye on them. Stop up ahead. We can get a better look at him. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Your trance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Bring him over. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> right there. Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. 
Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife? Hey. This is We've got to do something about these boys. <laughs> that was the plan. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. I'll take care of them. Taking care of them.
That's your call. Well, let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. <laughs> What's it look like? Get him up there! Come on! Down the this canyon! This is how it has to be! Easy. Look out! On the rope bridge! Oh.
I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. I sure fell at the end there. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, He's still alive. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay. Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Okay. Watch the post, girl. Look who it is. May I direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there? What's going on in there? Ah. I got you, Sizendorf. 
Take a bullet for a petty crop. Stop! There is no crime. Damn it. Now look what happened. Heavens down, above! Sir. This ain't looking no. good for you, partner. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. You really don't need to do that. Oh, my dinner. <sighs> to be treated like some common criminal. Uh, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark. Many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. Your son did. It was like taking something... Me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. We got a my good name will be ruined. Shut it. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Seisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent? Until proven quiet. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a crime. I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony for this court. Okay, Missy. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Not gonna help you, friend. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me.
Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravan. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What were you saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Nils, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Oh! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! God damn it! Keep your head down! Who are these people? It's the devil! 
Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. Damn it! 
few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. You knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh-huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! Here, Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me! All right, let's get out of here. Oh, my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? Slow down, John. It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle! Uncle! Oh. Uncle! I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure, if you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. John. 